Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and today we're going to talk about how a unproduced X Files episode <laughs> led to a long-running horror franchise. That's right, we're talking about the first Final Destination movie. Talking about tapes. Hello, Johanna. Hello, Jess. Hi, Jess. Hi, Johanna and Tony. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this is Jessica's first episode, first episode I'm on out. a panel. I'm out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and that's an inside joke that's if you've been watching joke. the show for the last no, year. No, it's not. Tony is incredibly abusive. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> See, he's telling me to I'm shut also, up. No, it's not a gay joke because I am very much straight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Not me. <laughs> five, five seconds in. We can't just go five seconds in without your agenda. Anyway. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> Jess's straight agenda. It's, it's a problem. It's a straight anyway. agenda. Uh, yes, today we're talking about Final Destination, and this is very timely. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if, if you don't mind me sharing, but uh, Jess and Johanna almost died earlier. Sadly, I didn't. Yeah, they were they were doing the tortilla challenge for the TikTok. <laughs> Um, Which is weird because I hate TikTok. And and, Je and Jess, uh, I'm going to tell the story because uh, I know you're still reeling from yes, the. Yes, please so, do. I, uh, Jess was like, I just had a dream that if I I hit you in the face with this tortilla, it's going to fly off into the street and and go on someone's wheel windshield, and then the car will drive into the building and kill everyone. And then and then and then it didn't happen because Jessica had that dream. So you've 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 uh, you've. <laughs> You've skipped death, I guess. Thank God I Why can you let me go? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But don't I'm worry. Like that, I'm like, that's a raven. It's just but don't way. worry. Don't worry. I, I believe that death is going to come for you guys. And I'm going to help them out. No. But anyway, about this what? movie. So, Final Destination. Uh, I had fun revisiting this one. Yeah. This it's is a good. fun. It's good. This is a fun movie. It's a fun franchise. Even the bad ones have their moments. Uh, when did you see this? Like when it first came out, in theaters. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it in yeah. theaters. I had um, I had a friend's dad rented it uh right when it hit video, okay. and I watched this right before my trip to Florida on a plane, which was the first <laughs> time I had been on a plane oh, since God. I was like, dude, these movies literally have made you like terrified yeah. of like so many things. Yeah, this like is like 2000, and before that, I was previously on a plane like 1995, so I was young. So this is the first time I've been like conscious enough to know what a plane is and everything and I watched this movie ahead of time like that was the worst thing I could have watched I went to Ireland recently I'm glad you didn't make me watch this before that yeah Jess just saw this movie yeah yeah well I was hoping you're gonna ask me when I was when I saw it because I was gonna be like oh I just saw it so long ago <laughs> <laughs> oh I know this movie so well yeah I it's did your favorite see, I did see the the one oh, I saw the one scene which I know we'll get to but my, yeah my dad had it on one time and he's like check this out yeah it, it, one where his head gets yeah bigger. that's cool and i'm just like cool dad i'm gonna go back <laughs> upstairs uh no i really like this movie um my sister loves this movie i just uh ironically my goddaughter saw this movie recently and i was not the one who introduced it to huh. her this time it was actually her mother showed her this movie <laughs> she's like yeah i just showed the girls final destination I'm like you were worried about the shit i showed them <laughs> um yeah so the origin of this movie is pretty funny uh it's apparently not the most original movie there was and uh, Jessica, Jessica, <laughs> leave a note. There was a movie that was similar to this where a girl survives a plane crash, but then the spirit of death is like haunting her with the people who died in the crash. So it's not huh. the most original thing, but uh, this guy, Jeffrey Reddick, uh, he heard that story or something and he came up with this script and it was a spec script for an X-Files episode. Huh. And he wanted it to be an X Files episode, which would have worked. This yeah. could have worked as an X Files mm -hmm. episode. I've never seen X Files. So. X Files, but, I, but yes, I X agree. X Files is good. X I agree. Files it was. It would have been a great X Files. Episode. I had an X Files. It's right there. Yeah, yeah. serious and handsome man. There's one below it too. That's the lone gunman. Uh, anyway, mm. uh, someone apparently encouraged him to develop it into like a feature film script. Works. And someone bought it. But the funny thing is. It ended up not being an X-Files episode, but he got James Wong, who was a co-writer on the X-Files, and Glenn Morgan, my favorite writer of the X-Files, to co-write, and then James Wong directed it. Yep. So in a way, it's kind of like an X-Files movie, just minus any of the X-Files. Those FBI agents should have been Mulder and Scully. That would have been awesome. 
Would have been yeah, better. Not <laughs> as them, you know what I mean? But no, no, it should have been them. Yeah? Instead yeah, it would have been, got... been better than the second X-Files movie. Instead we got Ween and Shrek. <laughs> yes. And... Yeah, when he said Shrek, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Je- Jess, yes. make sure to put Shrek's face over that guy for all of the movie. You okay. got that future me? <laughs> Great. So yes, that is the origin of this film. Uh, uh, and I guess we'll get into this movie here. Uh, the main character is Alex, played by Devin Sawa. Have you seen him in anything else? Casper. What? Anything else? Uh, that movie, The Fanatic, that came out a few years ago with John Travolta. I didn't Travolta. see that. <laughs> no, he's in a lot of stuff. Not big stuff. I literally only remember him Him and Casper Macaulay Culkin have like a feud. Yeah? yeah like a playful feud. Uh, Actually, he posted a picture of like, a while back, he posted a picture of Richie Rich with Casper. And he's like, oh, I reunited with my old friend Macaulay <laughs> Culkin. <laughs> Jesus. Um, he has the creepiest toys in his room. Yeah. What's with the skeleton hanging himself? Yeah, that was a little cryptic. It's a little weird. It's kind of like foreshadowing. It is a little mm. bit. Yes. There's a lot of, there's actually a lot of foreshadowing in this movie. I probably missed a lot of it. Um, yeah. And uh, from what I could tell, this takes place in Toronto because he has a Toronto Raptors lamp. But then I was thinking about it. I had a Toronto Raptors jacket and I lived in Philly. So I actually don't know where this takes place. That makes sense. Huh. Actually, if it is in Toronto, because at one point they're like, autumn's coming and he's like, it's the end of June. I'm like, then why are you guys all wearing so many layers? I yeah. guess that would make sense. I, I put that in my notes. I was just like, or he lives in like Washington, like close by. Just yeah. Something. I don't know. That logo was awesome. I don't give a fuck about basketball, especially Canadian basketball. Oh. But uh, that logo was awesome with the Velociraptor and the jersey. That's Everyone like had a, that in the that 90s. That and um, uh, the Hornets. Yeah, that was cool yeah. too. And then I looked up their newer logo. So I'm like, it's eh, so bad. It's like, suck. go back. Go back. Yeah, like, go back. Go back. Newer, newer sports logos are not as good. Yeah, they suck. Have you seen the old Patriots one? He's just like bent over. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Put that up, me. Go, Pat. <laughs> anyway. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. It's go, Birds. I ain't go, Birds. Yes. I don't even like football, <laughs> but it's a Philly team, so I, I have like to. My dad grew up in New England. <laughs> By the way, this scene reminds me of the that scene in um, The Simpsons where they're watching the action movie. And the guy's all like, two days until retirement. Oh. I bought a boat. It's called the Live Forever. <laughs> it's like, and then he dies. Because the dad is like, oh, you're going to Paris with all your friends. And he goes, live it up, Alex. You got your whole life ahead of you. The dad jinxed it. The dad j- did jinx and it. And the mom, too, because she ripped off the thing. And he's like, don't don't take that off. Don't. So both parents are to blame for this. I agree. Alex should kill his parents. <laughs> okay. Like, uh, in the movie. Did uh, you notice, by the way, uh, before the plane exploded, the way it was filmed, it was a lot brighter. Oh, and then it gets darker. And then after, it's all like mo- more like monotone and yeah. Okay, I get oh, that. It's actually pretty now, cool. Spoiler: the plane explodes. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen this by now, come on. So, so in this movie, uh, more so than the sequels, they try to make the Grim Reaper feel kind of like a presence, yeah. but they don't do it as much in the later ones. Uh, even in this movie, they kind of stopped doing it halfway through. But uh, I guess, I guess the spirit of death goes into his room and starts blowing things around. Yeah, is it the spirit <laughs> of death, or like, it, like is the spirit of death a troll? Like, ha ha! Like, uh, I don't know. There's, there's always been a question. Um, we'll get to the one thing. But uh, yeah, he comes in. He's like, ooh, I'm moving your fan. The ah. clock now says 180. <laughs> yes, the clock While you're turns sleeping. into 180. <laughs> Um, He's just like, what? Oh, the wind. Yes, yeah. yes. I hope it's not like an evil. <laughs> I hope it's not evil. I hope it doesn't kill me and <laughs> others. <laughs> so they're all going for their French class. They're going to France. I love the teacher. He's just like, I, I don't know any French. He's just like, let's go. Mierd. We. Oui. We. Oui. Uh, when we watch Prey, uh, because they didn't, they didn't subtitle any of the French people in Prey. Mm. Even in the Comanche version, they subtitle it, but it's all in French. So it's actually really funny. So I didn't know what they were saying until the one guy went "nierd." I'm like, that means shit. I know what that word means. Now I know uh, what that word means. Now you know. We the sucre What? So yeah, you're right. The teachers all like wee wee wee. Ha, 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 he's so from, excited. From the air? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I love that he's just so. Wait, excited. why are you crabbing? <laughs> I don't know. Go, no, that's Italian. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, no, okay. Italians is this. I went like French, that. French is this. Why are they called anyway, He's all like, so he shows up and he's like, I surrender. And everyone's like, what? He's like, oh, sorry, never mind. Because uh, the French like to surrender. 
How big? Jazz, cut to our uh, stats for, on how many people watch us in France, and then let me know if I should cut that joke out. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, they're at the they're at the airport, and we meet uh, some of our main characters. Uh, we have Ollie Lauder. God damn, so fucking hot. Uh, <laughs> now she's now she's a milf. Why is her name Clear? Uh, apparently, I, I, thought, I thought they were saying Claire the whole time. No, they were saying Claire. I, like, I watch think, it again. I'm like Clear. I didn't write it down, but I was looking up like the trivia. I think that was Glenn Morgan's assistant's name. Her first name was Clear. Why would you name your child Clear? I don't fucking know. Maybe, maybe she changed her name after her backstory. Why do people name their child Johanna? Because that's a great name. No, where the H is used. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Yeah, look, look. Uh, the, best, <laughs> the best name is Jessica. So, <laughs> strong disagree. So, yeah, uh, there's Ali Lauder, who again is a MILF now. A real one. Not the porn. The porn MILFs are like girls in like their 20s. Porn destroyed the word MILF. Anyway. Why are you talking about porn? <laughs> what it? I just freak? thought that was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean William Scott mm -hmm. as Yay. Billy. Go back and watch our rundown episode. Uh, Amanda Detmer from Saving Silverman. Uh, she's the nun in Saving Silver, and she is I, Terry. She's, oh, yeah, she's the nun, and then doesn't... Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. The uh, love interest of... Uh, uh, Chad Danella as Todd, and he played the character Bob in the X-Files episode, Hungry. Mm -hmm. That was an X-Files episode told from the monster's point of view. The whole episode Ooh. is from the monster's point of view. So, like, Mulder and Scully are in it, but they don't have any scenes of their own. It's, like, it was actually a really, really cool episode. It was in season seven, the last good season of X-Files. You should. Uh, and then some guy plays Carter. Carter, you dick. Carter, you dick. Carter, who's a dick. <laughs> now, uh, I'm sure other YouTube channels have mentioned this fact, but I feel like if we don't mention it, it's just going to be in our comment section. So I'm going to say it right now. Uh, these characters, uh, their names are named after filmmakers or stars from black and white horror films. And I have an example here. Terry Chaney, like Lon Chaney. The Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I thought of Dick Cheney. Yes. <laughs> no, that would be scarier. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, God, Dick Cheney. No, I'll rant about that afterwards. No, no. Uh, Todd Wagner, named after director George Wagner. I forgot what he did. Alex Browning, named after Todd Browning, Dracula. Oh. Larry Monral, Murnau. Larry Murnau. Yes. Named after F.W. Murnau, not Monroe. I used to know a person who was a big fan of them and kept saying Monroe for some reason. He directed Nosferatu, which is the first Dracula movie. Blake Nosferatu. Dreyer, named after Carl Theodore <laughs> Dreyer, who directed Vampire. Howard Siegel, named after director Don Siegel, who directed Dirty Harry. That doesn't fit. What the hell? That doesn't fit. Wait, the music fit? Like Gorillaz? Huh. Music fit? No, the movie Dirty Harry. Well, they and then Billy Whatever. Hitchcock, whose name was a homage to homage to Alfred Hitchcock, and Valerie Luton is named after horror film producer Val Luton. Where does the Dirty Harry one fit in? That doesn't make any Dude, sense. I have no idea. All I think about is the girl of song. Anyway, also, anything about Clear? Uh, Clear Rip? No, no, that was just a dumb name. Okay, uh, <laughs> just ran out of ideas. So they make sure to like make you really on edge because they show a crying baby and a disabled guy. Yeah, what, what does the guy say? Like, be he's, real, he's like, a really be messed a up God. You yeah. have to be a really fucked up God to take this plane down. That's a good sign. Younger the better to be a fucked up God to take down this plane. I had PTSD when I saw that baby because I used to work in a daycare and I'm just like, no, I would have gotten off that flight. I would have been like, this is bad. This All is my bad. Disney trips, I have to deal with crying children. Also, are we not going to bring up the guy who gave him the flyer? Oh, yeah, yeah. the Hare Krishna guy. Mm. Yeah, he uh, had the worst haircut. Well, that's, that's what they usually mm. uh, dress. Oh, the teacher lady. Yeah. She is married to someone from the X-Files because she appeared in the X-Files and the spinoff show Millennium. Huh. I forget her name. Jessica put put her name over there. You got it. Uh, yeah. So they board the plane. Um, Alex keeps getting so many hints that the plane is going to crash. Yeah. Like it couldn't be more obvious. He's hearing John Denver songs. Yeah. He's seeing like things breaking off. He's seeing like a burn mark on the wing. So what I'm saying is he's just really nervous about going on a plane. Also, the, if I saw that burn mark on that wing, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm no. No, the thing <laughs> is like whatever mystical force, and they never tell you in any of these mm -hmm. movies, who is sending them these premonitions to warn them about death? It's clearly it's not the, death. It's death or it could be trolling. 
Or death could be trolling. It's, I don't know. It's God. He's like my child. <laughs> I guess that is. It's the opposite of death. I don't know. The Grim Reaper. It's the 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 Jolly Roger. The, the, I don't know. Is that the opposite of the Grim the, Reaper? The Grim Saver. <laughs> Jolly sure. Roger. Uh, but yeah, so wh whatever this force is, it's like, oh, this guy's not getting a fucking clue. So he just sends him a spoiler for the plane crash. That was a really cool scene. Yes. Uh, this is Frightening. The, I cool. was looking up. This is actually the shortest opening uh, death scene for a Final Destination movie. Because then they start... This one's good, but they start wanting to one up it in all the sequels. Oh yeah, and look they how gorier and gorier it and gets. And they start too. dragging them out a little bit longer yeah. too. Uh, but yeah, this one's only like two minutes long, mm. and it's pretty simple, and it's pretty realistic, or at least it's filmed to look realistic. They kind of get, they get a little goofier. The fucking the three D one and the fourth one with the racetrack that was goofy. Um, I haven't seen it. What's the, the what's that bar thing called? Um. Like you would use it to like help keep concrete. Pillar? You know They're what I'm talking about? Those like metal bars. I guess. You know what I'm talking? I can't no. think. Of oh my god! Hold Is on. Is it in one of the movies? Huh? Is it in one of the movies? It, it's uh in the 3D one. Oh. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, rebar. Re yeah. Yeah. The 3D seven, they're like all poking out and everything, like everything. I'm just like, okay, we get it. Like, that's yes. something's gonna happen. Uh, but this was pretty intense. Like people are lighting on fire. They're being sucked out of the side of the plane. I like how the teacher tries to help. He's like, I'll get you. Yeah, the <laughs> guy just gets ripped out. Yeah. Uh, it reminded me, there was like a, was it in Fight Club? He's hallucinating the plane crashing and people being sucked out. I think there's that scene in Fight Club. I think the only other big like plane crash scene I can think of is, um, Lost, the pilot episode of Lost, mm. where it splits in half and that guy gets sucked yeah. out of the back. But they should have just jumped out on the side and held on the side like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Eraser. That would have been awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, the plane exploded. <laughs> True, I didn't think about that. The plane did explode. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's, it's like, his face is on fucking fire. It's like burning his yeah. face off. Uh, and then he wakes up and he's like, whoa, that was messed up. And that is why I consider him Raven from That's So Raven. <laughs> See into the future. <laughs> I forget how this song goes. Do you watch the spinoff Raven's Home? I never watched that, so Raven. <laughs> I'll just say that. Do you watch the spinoff Raven's Home? No, I never. Is that new? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm good. No my offense, my Raven sister Simone. was a huge Raven Simone fan. I loved that, so Raven, but like, I'm kind of tired of all the like weird sequels when they're adults coming out. Even though I'm very sad about the um, uh, the Hillary Duff one. Uh, that's Lizzie McGuire. I'm sad that oh, was. I met your thing. husband. Mm. No, they were going to do another Lizzie Her McGuire father? show. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then she wanted to, to actually be like adult because she's an adult. And Disney was like, meh. And then she's mm. like, all right, well. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> I want a Clarissa Explains It All reboot. Clarissa retracts her previous explanations oh my God. based on new <laughs> all right, evidence. Anyway. That's what I want the name to be. <laughs> anyway, uh, so it. he survives. He causes a scene. They kick him off the plane. Also, people. why did Carter start a fight with him? It's like Carter. Yeah, what off. is his deal? He's Carter. a dick. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, but I'm just like, all right. He could have stayed on the plane. Which? Why aren't you thanking Alex for being like, thanks for getting into a fight with me? Now I'm alive. But yeah. like, but like, I'm like, you just stay in your seat. You're just like, why are you being like this? I think I was yeah. reading because like, this is um, sit down and shut up. This is like pre 9 11. If this happened post 9 11, they would have like sport like let yeah. like stopped the flight and kicked everyone off and like did it again. Uh, that would have been like a whole thing. So it's funny watching. It is funny watching pre 9 11 movies, how planes are on there. Yeah. But I just did never under I'm Remember like, Die Hard, Bruce Willis just has his gun because he's a cop. I'm like, I don't, I don't think you could do that back then. You definitely can't do it now. Um, so yeah, I actually love the whole scene because like you're glued to that window. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what the hell they're talking. I know they're fighting and arguing and stuff, but I'm just like glued to the window. Yeah, I'm like looking in the background like. Yeah, <laughs> I love you see Sean William Scott like react to it first. Yeah. Well, he's just like, there they go. And I wrote my notes, plane go boom. <laughs> yes, the plane did go boom. Uh, apparently there's foreshadowing in this, but I didn't catch it. Uh, apparently like the girl, there's like a picture of a bus behind her in one oh, shot. Wow. Fact check that. Let me know if that's true. Uh, and I think, like, in the reflection, the plane is going past Sean Williams' mouth. I noticed that one. Yeah. Because yeah. um, yes. he doesn't get cut here. He gets literally... Yes, he yes. that metal. Uh, yeah. I didn't expect the, the windows to shatter. I don't know if that's realistic. No, but the plane was too far away. I think the plane was too far away. Like, I get the idea of it, yeah. but... The plane was <laughs> definitely way too far away. 
Hey, they just wanted some like, I know that that dramatic there, effect. I know that there are explosions that can shatter windows, but I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe death or whatever the entity was just like, hey, bitches, <laughs> what exploded? <laughs> Surprise! Oh my God. Was, like, it, was, it, was it the Grim Reaper breaking the glass? Like, look what I did. He's look banging. I did it. I did it. Stop <laughs> fighting. <laughs> you were right, Alex. Jesus. Everyone's I like how clear dead. got off, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was just like, oh, everybody's getting off. I'm going to get off, too. <laughs> it's just like, oh, all right. You can't I don't kill like Ollie Larder. That'd be mean. They do it in the second one. They do. Spoiler: She doesn't make it out of the second one. She was in the second one. I didn't even. Yes, know. she made it all the way to the second one, and then her face blows up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah. So the FBI comes in, and it's that one character actor who's in everything, and Shrek. Shrek. <laughs> also, in this scene, the teacher says, "Like, were there any survivors?" And I'm just like, "Bitch, did you see how high that plane was?" <laughs> And then you see everything hey, falling. People have survived. Yeah, oh yeah, stuff. no, I'm pretty sure that the, all the parachutes burned. So no, <laughs> there's like no. in parachutes. There have people who like, who uh, have survived falling out of a plane. Yeah, like, but it's just debris. Updrafts like, and whatnot. Like even if they survived the initial explosion, they're falling from a pretty high height. They're gonna. Oh yeah, they're splash. falling on the runway. They're yeah. not. They're not no, falling they're not in the water. Did they say they were over water? They were eaten by a shark. That uh, that might lead into uh. A thing that I'm going to mention up okay. in a second. I thought, yeah, I'm pretty sure the they're footage that water. was available for them. Um, yeah, so the FBI is questioning everyone, and they're definitely. I don't know how they don't just take Alex in. They're like, wait, you knew the exact way the plane would blow up. They're like, you're, we're holding you until we investigate. You're not allowed to go fucking anywhere. Well, this was before 9/11. Well, then the movie wouldn't happen. <laughs> Well, still, you yeah. can't have a guy just go like, yeah, the plane was going to blow up here, here, here. And they're like, shit, that's how it happened. They're like, you, you're you not allowed to go anywhere. We're holding you for questioning. Yeah. We can't let you go. You're going to want to get a lawyer. But they don't even tell them like, you're going to want to get a lawyer. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're all racked with guilt. Uh, teacher lady's just like, man, yeah. I told that French asshole to stay on yeah, the plane. She's like, yeah, you know the French stuff. You I, go. I felt bad for her. <laughs> she was just like, I told like survivor's guilt. I'm yeah. Like, Aw. Yeah, she was like. But at the same time, she's being rude to Alex. And I'm just like, okay. Yeah, like, why was she so she's mean? She's like, you give me the creep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she got at the memorial. What the hell? At the memorial, she's like, just get the fuck away. We give me the creeps. <sighs> Don't talk to me. You scared the hell out of me. Now, why it might have shown, like, the plane wreckage and water and stuff. Mm. And I don't feel like you could do this anymore. Uh, because they used real footage of the TWA flight that crashed in 1996. Um, uh, on Long Island. I'm sorry, what? Fuck. Yeah, movies used to do that. You could make a movie that would be like, hey, what was that? Uh, what were all those riots a few years ago? Well, you have any footage of that plane crash? We're going to put that in the movie. I feel like I like, feel like now it would be an issue. It, yeah, very tasteless. Well, they did that tasteless. in like, what was it, Patriots Day? Where the, well, uh, the bomb it's bombing, but it was all like the security footage. So they kind of do that. They show it's the different, explosion. It's different when the movie is about that actual thing. True. Okay. Yeah. No, that's because like there have been movies that use like the 9-11 footage, but it's mm. because it was about that. When it, when it's messed up, it was like, man, this building collapsed that's, in yeah, whatever city. The and then they yeah. show the twist. Like that's when it's just like, that's yeah. what they used to do or back like, then. Okay, Godzilla is yeah. like that, attacking New York. Yeah, yeah, you see the Twin Towers. So were, those, so were they like actually pulling Showing bodies being pulled out of the water. Was that bodies? I don't know. I don't know if it was bodies. Yeah, they were definitely pulling out the wreckage. I don't know. It looked like stuff. someone laying there with their like charred with their feet, and I was yeah. just like, "Oh, they did a really good I job mean, doing could, that." Hair. No. It, could, it, was it could have been real. people like who were in their seats because they were sucked out in their seats. <laughs> That's true. So, yeah. That's true. Hey, the teacher was not the helper. Help yeah, them. but yeah, no, I, I read that fact. I'm like, I don't think they do that anymore. Mm. I don't think they show actual footage of like horrible tragedies. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so yes, we get our first. Oh, oh, the, the Grim Reaper is really pissed. Uh, sorry, I was skipping ahead. The Grim Reaper's pissed, and he lets Alex know that he's pissed. He's like, I want to strike lightning in your street. Okay, so that was that's what that was? I guess so. And then it just cuts to black. Why like, didn't the Grim Reaper yeah, just... Yeah, there's a lot of weird cuts in this. I'm yeah. just like, I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> yeah, it almost, almost feels like it's cut for, like, television. Yeah, I was going to say TV. It's just like, well, what's the next file? Like, like, <laughs> is that, is that it? They, like, made the movie. They're like, oh, wait, you didn't delete the commercial break part? <laughs> um... That was, that was weird. They have the memorial service like a month later or like three months later. It's like a while later. Which yeah, I think it was three months. Which so his death like at his typewriter. He's like, how am I going to kill? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he's, he takes a while yeah, to get back like, to he's them. He's just like, oh, also, I, the I memorial, can't figure out this one. <laughs> the memorial is a bird and I'm like, guys, it's kind of touchy. Uh, it was a plane. It's an eagle. It, it, an eagle This a bird. you say eagle. For the team, you say birds for some reason. I don't know. Go birds. Uh, but it is an eagle. But uh, I'm just like, uh, ooh, that's a little... 
touchy. <laughs> they died on, in flight. Why is it a bird? <laughs> should it have been an eagle on fire? Is that what you're the phoenix? No, it should have just been <laughs> not a bird. Okay. A grounded animal. <laughs> a turtle? A, a zebra. A, a turtle. Zebra. A zebra. I don't know why. Um, uh, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, bird. But yeah, apparently, uh, because Todd's brother stayed on the plane and died, the family hates Alex. Todd doesn't. He's like, hey, man, once my dad gets over, we're going to hang out and be best friends again. Go see the Yanks, which I wrote here, go Red yeah. Sox. Also, he's a teenager. Why is he listening to his dad? He still- like, hey, dad, I'm going out with such and such or whatever. And then just go hang out with Alex. He still lives with his parents, probably. Yeah, they're in high like, school. So, lie. Have you never lied to your parents? No, I never You're lied. a liar. I never you're, lied. You're lying right now. So, no, I never name, lied to my name, parents. Name 15 <laughs> lies I've ever told. How many people have you dated? Name 7,000 <laughs> lies I've ever told. I feel like I should leave. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so this scene I related to the most for my high school experience when Sean William Scott says, I took my driver's test last week at the DMV. Got a 70. It's the lowest score you can get, but I passed. I'm like, oh, yeah, it reminds me of all of high school. I'm like, hey, I got a 70. Look at that. I would come home and be like, mom, I got a 70. I passed. And she'd be like, oh. we're going to die at a very young age. Yeah, apparently his driving instructor. Actually, when I got my license, the girl told me I almost failed. I'm like, that's a pass. But I didn't. <laughs> that's a pass. Um, yeah, he, he thinks Alex is a psychic. So he's like, is this girl going to say no to me if I ask her? Yeah. And he's like, get the fuck away. Such a jerk. So then Todd's death scene. Uh, it starts off with Oof. him taking a shit. Uh, so this like one. Airport. Yeah. So this one, a lot of the deaths were going to be more like this. Where it shows death like like manipulating things in a way they couldn't be manipulated, like the water coming mm. out of the toilet. And they show like the shadow in the mirror. They show mm. the shadow throughout the film. Yeah, real subtle death. But apparently afterwards they were like, uh, you know what, let's make it more like a series of coincidences and accidents. Which is what I like because it reminds me of the Omen movies. Yep. And I love the Omen movies. That's... When the devil doesn't send a dog or a crazy lady to kill someone, it kills them with a series of accidents in the Omen movies. A series of unfortunate events? <clears throat> yes. Uh, yeah, so they're like evil Rube Goldberg machines. <laughs> That's how death yeah. operates. But this really he's does, re- he's, this he's, he's really so crafty. different from all the other ones, because all the other ones are just like coincidences. <clears throat> this one, he's like, I'm going to get you. Yeah, this I'm one, the water, and then, okay. She hung up a clothesline in the shower. With all our pantyhose. To put the pantyhose. Even though they have like a big house. They couldn't put it up back or something. It was the early 2000s. It was the 2000s. Like, <laughs> I know like you are like, okay, I understand the bra or whatever. Because I hang my bra, not on the clothesline thing or whatever. But I hang it on the like the bar thing that holds your shower curtain. But like you're not supposed to tumble dry your bras. Just like the they have the underwire. Do. Just do what the Amish yeah. do. Just hang it outside. Every yeah. single sock. Has its or you got to put it in a one of those laundry bags. Yeah. Yeah. So like I understand that whatever, but then there was like actual clothing too, and I was just kind of like, uh, okay. What if someone turns the shower on? The yeah. Like, oh, yeah. What if you like? Water. Yeah, because like the thing was closed. Yeah. So what, yeah. What if you like go and you turn it on real quick and then you go to go in and you're like, oh shit. Yeah. So then uh, death makes him trip on the water. <laughs> the slip. blue water. The blue. Yeah, it's very blue. For a toilet. Because wasn't it dripping from the where you turn the water on and off? Yeah, it's the water that goes into the toilet. This could have yeah, been, so, been avoided yeah. if it just fixed it. So yeah. why did it go I don't know. back to the Because to- death is not Because subtle. death, is, again, this is the one where like the death is using the force a little bit too much. Uh, especially so he slips, he falls into the thing, and the the one end stays, and then the wire just magically wraps around his throat, and yeah, I'm like, all right, like, that's, that's, that's a little that, ridiculous. His eyes popped, like the blood vessel. That is pretty, it, and that is like one of the most gruesome hangings I saw in a movie I at that point. Triggered. It doesn't help with the soap, too. Yeah. Because yeah. he's just like, whoa. And he's trying to get the scissors, like the scissors are there, he's and he just not can't even, get He's it. not even close. Yeah. He's like, I can get it, and it's like a mile away. <laughs> I was very triggered about the eyeball part. My eye recently. <laughs> Your eye was bleeding because of that script I wrote in that ad. It scared you so much. <laughs> I've seen the future of horror, and it's Tony from half the movies. And I'm just like, <laughs> I think I think we got a couple comments where they thought that was like an effect. I'm like, no, it's just her eyes. My fall. eyeball. No, it was. I did it. Me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm the cause of your eye. So yeah, and then uh, so the, the 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 Grim Reaper puts all the the water. <laughs> The Grim Reaper puts the water back in the toilet. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, back in the toilet to stage it to look like a suicide. That 
was weird. He's just like, That's a weird way to kill yourself. Yeah. How'd he kill himself? Well, he took the, the the wire cord to hang up his mother's pantyhose and strangled himself with it in the shower. Also, like, just the fact that Death was like, I gotta hide my the evidence that it was me. Yeah, it's I don't like, know why they, water. I don't know why Death was trying Water's... to cover up his tracks. That was a little weird. No one's gonna know. Um, oh yeah, so while this is happening, I forgot, uh, Alex is trying to jerk off and then a sign tells him that Todd's dying. It's not a sign, it's the... the yeah, yeah, he throws. He, he throws it at an owl. Which, by the way, what was that owl doing? With yeah, that is shredded. Uh, the owl is like a, a symbol of death, I guess. The owl wanted to check out the porn. <laughs> Why did the penthouse shred like that? Dramatic effect. Like I don't holy know. shit! If my fan did that, I'd be like, I'm throwing this fan out. <laughs> That's a bad owl. Yeah, it really wouldn't shred like yeah. that. It would like get stuck it would, like, after get a while. Stuck, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, he sees that and he's like, I bet you something's going on with my good friend Todd. So then he goes over there. And then the dad's like, you, he was you so wrecked with guilt. He killed himself. He's like, he said he was going to hang out with me. Yeah, like, why would he make plans? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, this is when Clear and Alex start to talk to each other. This is the scene where they're just no, like, what? it's the end of June and they're wearing like three yeah. layers. Why is she just hiding behind the tree? And she's just like, Alex. <laughs> and then she meets up and then she's like, we never talked to each other. And now we're talking. She's like, I made this sculpture for you. It was very. My attraction turned down. Yes. Yes. She's I, very that's my edgy. Alley voice. Look, I don't, I don't want to be too personal. Johanna's going to be embarrassed. But in high school, she invited me over. She's like, hey, I made this sculpture for you. And I was like, thanks. It was a giant penis. I don't know why. You settled <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I made a giant penis for you. That was that was her way of flirting with me, and I was just like, "It's like I wish this could be you." <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, that backfired on me. I was trying to make you seem like a weirdo. That backfired. So <laughs> Good job. Good job. <laughs> I'm proud. No, 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 just pull me. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> Safety. I'll high five and then, myself. And then Joanna said, "If you ever break up with me, I'm gonna marry a leprechaun." <laughs> 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 I can't wait for you. He's <laughs> gonna give you his pot of gold. Do you still have that sculpture? <laughs> wait. <laughs> what do you need it? Don't worry about it? Anyway, so they start to talk to each other, and they're like, "We have to go investigate our friend's dead body. Let's break into the the morgue. The morgue. Yeah. Gives, yeah. Well, the funeral home. I guess it's on a morgue. It, it gives me a rush, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna start fucking. In the, oh yeah, in doing the things I'm not supposed to do. It's like, shut up, lady. It gives me a rush. This place doing something I'm not supposed to. I'm pretty sure it's still a morgue because like they still have to store a bunch of dead bodies. So. I get well now this because this isn't where they're storing the body. They're not doing an autopsy or anything. Well, they're, they're doing the maybe one yeah, day yeah. doing the the embalming do that, and all like that. Yeah, do that at the funeral home. The morgue is something else. Like, what the hell would the room be called then? I guess it could be a morgue at a yeah. funeral home. Well, it's I guess. a building that has Todd's dead body. Okay, it's at the coroner's office. There, it's a morgue at the thing. Anyway, um, speaking yeah. of Todd, Tony Todd, the best Tony in my opinion. I was waiting all day to say that. By <laughs> all day. I was like, I'm going to say it. Tony Todd, I'm going to do it. <laughs> also with the arm, is that a real thing? Where the Because Todd's arm moves, he's like, Ugh. it might. I, I need to look. I know there are things like after death, like some neur neurons and whatnot shoot, but like, I don't think it happens that long after death. But it, Jessica. It, he was putting Jessica. stuff in him. Oh, to okay. him, And it was something with it. Jessica, look that up. Mm -hmm. The fuck? You're a guest. You're not. You're not the host of the show, Jess. <laughs> she anyway, is now take over. <laughs> uh, yes. Hello. <laughs> no, that's that's gonna be our woke reboot. <laughs> when I'm done. Well, hey guys. Oh Hack the movies now run by Jess. It's whoa. <laughs> hey, I can I can I can wear a mustache. Hey, like, oh, yeah, Tony. <laughs> Just the mustache. Oh, no, <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> so Tony Todd. To this day, no one knows what Tony Todd's character is. People think he's like a living manifestation of death or he's working for death. But then Tony Todd disagrees with that. He's like, he just know, he's just a guy who knows a lot about death. I'll see you soon. He's very fascinated about death. He is. He is. And he tells him everything. He's like, death? What is it? Blood? Death is one. You What's his name? That motherfucker. Uh -huh. his, his name? Something blood? He had a name? I couldn't remember. Blood something? I don't know. I don't know. Jessica, what's his name? Uh, no, right here. Uh, ding, 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 oh, there, that, that's his name. Oh, look at the wow. There it is. Uh, yeah, Tony Todd, he's there. He gives them the whole thing. He's like, death is uh, 
cool guy. He likes to come up with crazy sort of kills, and he gets pissed when you spoil his death scene and mess it up, and he comes back with a vengeance, and they're like, they, they never go, how do you know all that, sir? And then Tony Todd yeah. never goes, you're trespassing. I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, instead, he does threaten him. He's like, I'll see you soon. Also, it, he, it gave me PTSD because when I got surgery, because I like scar going from here to here, when he pulled out the stuff, ow, when he pulled out the stuff from like the thing, I had like something that they had to pull out and I'm just like, stop. Oh, like it was literally that. <laughs> I had my appendix <laughs> taken out. I didn't have a scar though. They went through I have never bone. had a major surgery, stitches or broken bone, knock on wood. <laughs> you know what, Joran? Speaking of which, Joran has been living in di Final Destination for like the last month. <laughs> you better be really fucking careful, all right? I really have though. <laughs> No, uh, this entire year. So most people died. You got COVID. Uh, My foot. Your foot broke. It didn't break. Or it got something with a nerve. You better be careful. You're just. You shouldn't go around being like, ha ha ha. I've never had a surgery. I'm gonna even call for you tomorrow, and be like, oh yeah, they're taking out my spleen or some shit. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny. Uh, anyway, cut to the picture of me with Tony Todd when I was 14 or 15. I have his autograph at home. He's really nice. I love him. You didn't he bring was really it in? nice. Huh? You didn't bring it in? I didn't. I forgot to take it off my uh -huh. wall. Sorry. Uh, next scene. I have a problem with Alex, and he does this throughout the whole film. He knows that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is sending him <laughs> visions to help him. I said it was God earlier. But That's why I Jesus. assume. I assume. Yeah, it was too vague. I'm being very specific. Okay, Jesus. That's uh, the Holy Spirit. Huh? That's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Same person. Uh, they're all the three. Father, the son, Holy Yes. <laughs> we went to school. We know this. All right. When you were making that weird sculpture for me, it was during religion class. Oh. So. Father Bill was very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so throughout the film, he keeps getting, he keeps getting more hints and premonitions. He literally in this scene, he's talking to them about everything or to clear about everything. And then he like turns over and he sees a bus in the reflection. And then he looks over and there, there is no bus. Maybe the bus just drove away really fast. It's like, oh, I don't want that. No, right me. there. He should be like, holy shit, a bus is going to kill someone. Let's let's go inside where buses aren't. Or he he never just, thinks to say that. He could just ask Claire, like, did you see a bus go by? And yeah, he was like, did you just yeah. see a bus go by? And no, when she like, said no, like, he'd be like, fucks. okay, I just had another crazy vision. Let's avoid all buses. Let's, let's go to the ocean. There's no buses in the ocean. Uh, but he doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Get swallowed by a whale shark. Submarine. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, every time there's like, except for the first one, Todd, but whenever there's like a death, like magically multiple characters happen to be there. Mm. So in this scene, fucking Billy's riding his bike. He almost gets hit by Carter, that dick. Carter, yeah. dick. Carter, yeah, he almost like killed a bunch yeah. of people. And then teacher lady just happens to be there too. Yeah, that's what Carr says. Like, oh, look at this. It's a family reunion. Or whatever the fuck it says. <laughs> and, I, and Alex were just trying to have a nice little date. Yes. So I think this is the most memorable death in the movie. God. Yeah. Like, I know. So the Final Destination movies, how you, how you explain them, you explain the opening scene and then the most memorable death. Oh. And this, it's like the opening scene, plane crash, death, bus. When Terry yells at him, she's like, he's like, yeah, I don't want to list, I don't want to spend the rest of my life fighting. Then she walks out the street and just gets plowed. She exploded. I didn't. And that cut though, it just like ended and then it just was fucking uh, yeah. Alex. What, what was he drinking? Like a. So I read when I was looking at the trivia, I found a funny story about that. Uh, but yes, I love how they all just get splattered in blood. They're just like, oh. And by the way, that was a really good early like cutting to a digital double. Um, oh, it's. Yeah, like the effects are really, really good in this movie. There's not many effects up. that take you out of mm -hmm. it. Uh, and again, like that, it's just because it, it was simple. Yeah, it was very, That's very simple. Why. You know what the best car crash in a movie is? Meet Joe Black when when Brad Pitt gets hit yeah. by like three cars, and it's just, Meet Joe Black is like a very serious movie where like the death takes the form of this body to see what it's like living as a person. Oh, that's it's a very nice. serious like melodrama, and it's got romance. But they add Aww. in this really cartoony death scene for Brad Pitt in the beginning, and it's just the most ridiculous. I rewound that thing like five times when I first watched it. Was it on like a VHS? Did it? Was it like the Titanic one where? You Shut up! No, <laughs> let's go. Uh, <laughs> so the Alka-Seltzer scene. They apparently, they apparently like made that scene go longer because the test audiences were still reeling. Like they were still like really unsettled by <laughs> like they had the nobody <laughs> reacting except for like the blood on the face. Like the boyfriend's literally just standing yeah. there like deadpan, just like 
But yeah, but apparently the test audience, it caught them so off guard that they were still like unsettled. And they weren't able to like pay attention. So that's why they like increased the screen really with, with, it, with her calling him. And, and then she's also it. drinking it. Yeah, yeah. So they could like calm down because of how like shocked they were. Because <laughs> every other scene, it builds up. That one is the only one where it just boom, the bus splattered. Because yeah. you can't, De- you you can't know- forget about it because they're just like, everyone's arguing and she's just like, Want actually, no, de- death wasn't really that creative that time. I think he was just doing it for shits and giggles. Like, haha, guys, look what I did. Yeah, death, death. Also, he didn't do his Rube Goldberg. And they should have cut to inside the bus, like him spilling his coffee and like, oh, no. And then, also, like, the, driving. Okay, if that's the case, I was like, what was it? The agent Slater, Agent Shrek and other guy. Yeah, Shrek. They, Agent they, Shrek and Donkey. And Donkey, <laughs> yes. Uh, they were just like, it's weird. You were at the scene with Todd and Terry. It's like, okay, but there were a bunch of people when Terry died who did not, Todd didn't, or not, God, um, Alex did not push her in. Yeah. Also, that bus was going full speed. Yeah, bus is going stopped. pretty fast. Really fast. So, I've never had so, a bus that fast. So, like, oh, you also, know what it was? She was in the middle of the street. She didn't hear that bus coming. I figured it out. I figured it out. What we didn't realize is this takes place in Los Angeles, and that was Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock from Speed, and they okay, couldn't slow sense. down. They couldn't. Sense, <laughs> Chess, please cut in. Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock running it. over this girl. Okay. Alex learns more information about the plane crash and he realizes that there was a pattern of the explosions yep. and that's the order of when they were going to die. He's tracing over like the yeah. TV. Yeah. Shouldn't uh, Carter be next because he was right next to Terry? That's what I don't get. Uh, teacher lady's next. Uh, teacher Never lady. I, I like that teacher lady sees Alex. And she's, and she's gotta like, call Shrek. She's like, Agent Shrek, Agent Donkey, you gotta get this guy out of here. Uh, and of course they do. They like... They have there. He's like, she's going to die somehow. And they're like, dude, why haven't you gotten a lawyer? Yet? <laughs> like, can you just can you just tell me if you're responsible? Are you are you responsible? And uh, H. Trek believes him. He's, he's like, like All right, you can go. He's like, well, that guy gives me the creeps. They let him go because they don't technically yeah, they have don't any have hard evidence. But even yep. Trek is like, I'm starting to believe that guy. This is a little weird. So the Grim Reaper goes to teacher lady's house uh, and he makes her teapot too hot. And then that cracks her mug, which she then just holds over her monitor. Well, no, it was she poured out the hot liquid because she like saw nothing. And she went, ah, <laughs> and then she poured in a cold liquid. It's like anyone would know that would crack yeah. a ceramic. Thing. She's just an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some teacher. She's not a dip chemistry or whatever teacher. She's That's a common sense. She's a French teacher. She only knows we, 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 we. That's she, all she knows. I also think when she like poured it out, she's like, you gotta come down. It's just a mug. You gotta stop this. Stop this. It's a stupid mug. Also, the computer wasn't on. I don't know if your computer would explode. Uh, Death turned it on. No, I'm not actually gonna <laughs> do that. <laughs> we'll get ants if I do that. Um, oh, yeah, that's what we're worried about. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not plugged in. If this thing explodes, I mean, what? it is plugged in. This is a real store. <laughs> Death will turn it on. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so this causes her computer ex- to explode and shoot a glass shard into her neck. And speaking that was of a lot of blood, speaking of foreshad, well, you got major arteries there. Yeah, but yeah. like she's still like a lot. I would have passed the fuck also, out. Yeah, I would have ran outside, by, by, down a car, and been like, "Help!" By the way, death is being real extra here. Like you got oh my her. God, you got insane. her, death. I'm gonna bring this up again. Okay. But when you have something in you, do not take it out. Oh uh, yeah, don't don't do never that. do that. Don't do that unless you're at the hospital because then you well, then, yeah, then they can do whatever the fuck. But like, if something happens and you're like impaled on something, do not move. Do not take it out. Just so all our so all our people who are getting impaled, don't pull out. Just leave that in you. <laughs> pull out. Just leave that in. Now on you're, other now things. You're contradicting. <laughs> pull out on other now, things. People probably saw I was making a face. Consensual. Just, <laughs> thing. When I was making a face, I'm just like. Mm. So, yeah, I picked up on that. I'm like, I got a joke for this. Anyway, she falls back onto a door and the door just has a, a glass, sta- like a stained glass knife just hanging. I guess she just really likes daggers, but that's clearly foreshadowing. Ugh. But I love it. It's just so wacky. She's bleeding. She falls. She's like, let me get the towel. I, let me gotta the, get a towel. And then the knife falls on yeah, her. But then that's put, not enough. She put the towel on top of the knives. <laughs> She's like, because oh. that's, that's not enough because the death was like, oh, did it go all the way in? 
explosion to not, there's a big explosion to knock over a chair and put it in more. And that's when, and, that's yeah. when Alex is in the house. And, yeah, Alex runs in or whatever and yeah, he just laying there. He saw, the, he saw the vision by a guy burning leaves on the side of the road and he's like, oh shit, she's yeah. dying. It's like, or maybe again, he's just burning leaves. No. <laughs> the knife. Why did you take it out? Oh my God. Why? And the footprints. Because he's like, he's like, knives aren't supposed to be in people. <laughs> He literally took it out like he was so proud of himself. He's like, yeah, yeah, you know what's weird? They do the whole Never um, pull it out. Yeah, they Don't do pull out. They do the whole thing of him pulling out and causing a mess. Um, <laughs> but it's supposed to like it's supposed to make it seem like he's going to be idea. framed for the murder. But then death blows up the house anyway, yeah, which would have destroyed the like, evidence. They were like, oh, he found they found footprints. I'm like, really? Where? Because yeah. exploded. Where? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by the way, one of the, was, one of the facts yeah. I was reading was that they they built like that. That was like a facade that they built. Mm. And apparently, like residents of the town thought the house looked really nice and they didn't want it to blow up. And it's like it's not a real house. It's a set. Um. So teacher lady's dead. Uh. She was a bitch. <laughs> oh, and Billy just happened to be passing by. And, and then he just run, Alex just keeps running, and it's just like, wow, course, you look really suspicious. And now. of course, Billy is just gonna tell the police because she's a good citizen, I guess. Yeah. So Billy, no, even clear, though he can't drive. Billy, clear, and Carter, they yeah. team up. Uh, they're like, we gotta go find Alex, and then a weird song plays. Keep in mind, this is the '90s, so you gotta put in whatever the, the popular it's, song it's the 2000s. is. Yes, to, well, it was made in late the 90s. '90s, early 2000s. Gotcha. You got to put in the popular songs to make sure you sell a soundtrack, and you got to make sure your young, youthful teen cast all have their faces on the cover. Yeah, they're just. I love Much that piss. like scream. Can you grab scream? Their lips in that. Where? Their lips on that cover yeah. are so luscious and red. Don't they, don't they Much, do this one too? Yeah. Yeah. Much. Much like scream. Much like Halloween H2O. You got to put your young, youthful cast face on the cover. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is actually the only, when I was reading, this was like one of the only like teen horror films that wasn't based around like a, <laughs> the faculty <laughs> that wasn't based around like a slasher or like a killer. It was about like this corporeal thing. It's death. So anyway, she finds Alex and then she tells her his, her, her backstory. She tells him her backstory and that's the bathroom break scene. Yeah. Also, That's she said that her father went to 7-Eleven. Right when she said 7-Eleven, I'm like, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he went to go get milk and cigarettes, and he never came back. <laughs> Can't get a slushy now. <laughs> milk and cigarettes. <laughs> you never heard that joke? Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I, and I he never came back. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so then they get in the car, and again, uh, oh, Carter. You dick. What the hell is this? Hey, don't be a bitch. Be considerate. Joanna, don't be a bitch. Be considerate. <laughs> Drinks get me wet. <laughs> don't fuck up the table. Anyway, uh, Carter decides he's going to go out on his own terms and he's going to kill himself. And everybody. I don't know why he just doesn't do it. With see, see, Carter's a dick. Carter, you dick. Yeah. Billy was right. Uh, he's going to take everyone with him, which how would death get back at them for mm. that? They never really play into that with other movies. Like, I actually know in the second one, the guy goes to kill himself, but like the, yeah, gun, the gun doesn't, doesn't go work. off. Yeah. Uh, Cause we never actually see a play cause he changes mm -hmm. his mind in this. But while this scene is going on where he's driving around, Alex gets a vision of a train. And the seatbelt. And the seatbelt. And at no point does he go, hey, let's not park on the train track. I just got a vision of a train. Well, no, Carter wouldn't have listened. He's like, oh, it's my time. I gotta, yeah. I gotta go to the train. Even though he's trying to kill everybody else in the car too. Yeah. yeah. So the train comes, uh, we see, we see death in the back seat. He's like, ooh. Um, Subtle. Ooh, 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 wee wee. wee, 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 wee. It's Zoidberg, <laughs> apparently. Uh, <laughs> uh, but Alex realized that uh, the vision of the seatbelt, he knew the seatbelt would break and he could save Carter. Oh, I thought it just meant someone. No. No, and he that does that. Sense. He saves Carter. The train hits the the car and makes no effort to hit. I don't, I don't think the train hits its brakes. The train no, just keeps, it just keeps going. <laughs> like the bus. Wait, what we don't know is that there was a side movie about a guy who also skipped death. Unstoppable. And, and, and death killed him on the train, and then he he died at the wheel, and that's why the train just kept on it's going. It's unstoppable with Denzel Washington. Exactly, yeah. it's unstoppable Look, with Denzel they, they, Washington. They, they can't stop it, there's <laughs> nothing they can do. Anyway, um, so he realizes like, okay, death skipped you, and now it's gonna go to the next person. I like the detail that Carter pissed his pants. I noticed that on the rewatch. He I'm like, did? If you yep. look, his pants are just covered in piss. 
Cruddy dick. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Sean William Scott is just like, you're, Yo, next. you're next, man. Blah, 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 blah. And then they keep cutting to the piece of metal on the thing. I'm like, oh, that fucker's gone. This is a brutal decapitation. Mm-hmm. This is the very first scene I saw. My d- this is the one my dad was like, check this out. <laughs> he didn't really say it like that. I know you're watching just, dad. Hi. Because it's like, like foo, boom. and then like the body's standing up for a couple seconds and then falls. That he, like, was pretty awesome. It, literally. But yeah. Was not, he's just, just like, like, like ghost ship. I was gonna say that. <laughs> also, Alex is very excited. It's like it skipped you and it went to Billy. Yeah. Wow. Oh I'm my god. None of them ever really react to these deaths, by the way. I mean, clear. It's just the plain stuff. They're like, that's a hell of a thing. What was it? What was it? <laughs> Alex is like, Carter was supposed to be next. And he's like, fuck you. <laughs> you should be fucking dead. Oh, man, you're the fucking devil. So Alex goes to Clear's dad's cabin. And the geography of this movie, based on the later scene, must be right next to her house, like right across the pond from her house, literally. Like, yeah. damn, how rich is her family? She's making weird sculptures out of nothing and whatnot. He, mu- Her dad must have had a really good life insurance policy. They're, they seem to be living pretty good. But he had to go to 7-Eleven. He had to go to 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, so he's at the, the cabin. He death proofs the cabin. It makes it, it does not look stable it, lo- it looks no. more unsafe than i like that he's safe. eating like chicken paste because he doesn't want to choke Isn't, i thought it was cat food no nah, i i forget what I, it was actually bananas i heard oh, uh God. but i think that's the whole point he's like i better not choke i need to eat my chicken paste but he sets up his own rube goldberg death machine that he can counter and it's like wait d- did you just trick death is that's death that is death just like oh i know what i'll do i'll move the can over to the thing yeah that was his plan and then he opens up the door and he realizes it was full of rusty hooks. He's like, oh, tetanus. I didn't think about that. You almost got me. And it's like, wait, so death was just going to give him tetanus and call it a day? But there was also that knife that went through the door. That- he planned for that, but he didn't realize that there were a bunch of rusty hooks in there. But now I realize, I'm like, Alex, you're not up to date on your shots. Get your tetanus shot, buddy. Be safe. He's worried about planes and trains and Alex, automobiles. Alex, you dick. Yeah, go, go get a tetanus shot, buddy. Come on. <sighs> <laughs> that also leaves bigger questions. Like, why couldn't Death just give him like a brain aneurysm? <laughs> yeah, why can't he? Look, don't look too much into it. That's actually, that's a good point, though. <laughs> yeah, We're not, I'm not going to get into it. I'm just like that. Yeah, Death is real hit or miss with these <laughs> ideas. So yeah, he survives that, and he like shit talks Death. Uh, he's real cocky now. It's like, what you think? Yes, you almost got me. But I think it turns out the whole cabin thing was a coincidence. That might have just actually been the wind because he realizes he Must have switched, been the wind. Yeah, he switched seats with the girls. Yep. So this fucker almost just killed himself just being an asshole. Or, he's like, how did I forget I switched seats? Or death was just like, oh, right. He didn't switch seats because like you see like the wind blow. And it's just like, <laughs> my thought is just like, wait, did death forget? And he's like, wait, thanks for reminding me. Alex. Death, like, death must have also forgot and was watching the same news thing was like, oh, fuck, that's right. He's I have to go kill clear. So, <laughs> we go, what I thought, so like, death is going after dead? clear. Um, and the Grim Reaper's smart. No, he's so not. smart. The Grim Reaper is smart in this case because, like, Clear is looking outside. There's a live wire flying around. The wind's going crazy. There's metal going everywhere. And the Grim Reaper is like, I bet you if I put this white broad's dog in trouble, she'll come out run. Like, and if, sure enough, sure enough, oh as soon as the dogs are sparking. Oh, she's I'd do that for my dog. I'd be like, Ex- exactly. Death is smart. I know, I know you bite ankles, Percy, but <laughs> death, I don't death, want you to Death die. is like, that. I'm literally death, and I'm showing them just. Just non-stop murder scenarios. And I bet you if I put a dog there, she's going to be like, oh, I got to go outside. Death, <laughs> and of course death, it works. you dick. She oh, saves the, the dog. The dog's pretty stupid, by the way. But he's chained up. He's oh, like, yeah. That dog would run away from the live yeah. wire, not bark at it. Uh, yeah. So she gets him out of there. Uh, and she's climbing, trying to avoid the electricity. Now, is death trying to also kill Alex? Or is it just trying to stop him from preventing? I think Clear's he's trying death? to stop him because it almost like he well, actually this is he almost gets stabbed mm-hmm. in the face, which yeah. I think that would have killed him. Uh, but oh. then it tries tries to drown him in the puddle. Mm. Also, the the police officers didn't hear the tree fall, so that's true. That if oh. a tree falls in the middle of the woods and no one's around to hear it, it does not make a sound. <laughs> I realized that. I'm like, holy You're shit. You're right. You're right. The tree falls and they think nothing of it. They're like, a tree fell. But I, I wonder I where was, he is. I wasn't around to I hear do, it. I do love the shot of him in the little canoe. Yeah. Just like paddling. And they're like, stop it. So, Come back here. 
So obviously, yes, he was going to clear, but them not really understanding the situation, or whatever, with him in the mm -hmm. canoe and like paddling away, wanted another cop car wait there just in case he decided to turn back because all the cop cars left yeah. to go around. You know what's weird? No one left a cop at the teacher lady's house after that Alex too. got arrested. <laughs> and so, yeah, Alex yeah, went back. Yeah. So uh, Clear's there. She gets in. She's climbing everywhere. She's falling. She gets in the car. Alex finally shows up. And he's like, hey, if I grab the live wire, it'll it'll skip you and go to me or whatever. It's kind of confusing. It gets kind of confusing yeah. the end. He starts fighting it with the shell. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm just like, <laughs> that made the situation worse. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, that's the worst fight scene. It's he like, Alex yeah. is a shovel worse. versus death. I did like that death like, made the thing go underneath the car <laughs> to yeah. blow it up. Uh, but yeah, he, he saves her. What a and hero. you think he died. I thought when the faded to white, I'm like, oh, he's going to the airplane in heaven with all the people. <laughs> And it just says six months later. Turning into a bird. <laughs> no, an eagle. A few <laughs> eagle. Go birds. Uh, yeah, so it cuts to the future six months later. Yeah. And he's alive. And they go to France. And they go to France to celebrate. They got celebrate. on a plane and went to France. They went on the plane and celebrated. They're in uh, they're in La Francais. Carter's still a dick. Oui. Le Francais. Oui. Oui, 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 oui. Be, I'm gonna get made fun of for that. <laughs> uh, and um, they're over there, they're having a nice bottle of wine. Well, no, they have the uh, clear has wine, everybody else has beer. Oh, right. I don't think it's really important, though. So. I think it's important. They're, they're living their best life. She's blonde now. I noticed that. I'm like, wait, she's not dark and like, broody anymore. She's blonde now. Who is she, Sandra fucking D? Rest in peace, Olivia mm. Newton John. Um so sad. Now was sad. They're like, we're 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 living our best lives. And then he's like, wait a minute. Ah, there's something that didn't ma ma gonna, make sense. Gonna, and he's like, I brought the I brought the schematic for the plane gonna, crash. Uh, it's like, why'd you what? <laughs> like, also, you, death waited again. Did death forget? He's yeah. like, oh right, Alex. Yeah. Uh, he's supposed to be. That next. was the thing. De death forgot. And he's like, oh fuck, I thought I I hope he brings it up because I like, forgot. He's like, I need after after the, the whole clear <laughs> incident. He's like, I need a vacation. Yeah, yeah, maybe Death took a also, vacation. Did, did no one die th during the times when he was trying to kill those those people, uh, kids? Because it's just like, it's like, well, you know what? Death is a busy guy. He's like, you know what? Foiled they again. beat me today. I gotta, you know, burn an orphanage or something. I'll circle back to these guys. Let me do my thing. I wouldn't go that far, but okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what would what would stop that? He's like, Death's like, I got other things to do. All right, he's like, I, I burned down the orphanage. All right, now I'm back. I'm behind on work. Um, these past. He's months. like, where were those three people? Oh, there they are. They're in France. Oh shit, I gotta go all the way to France. Let me go. Oh, they got Death there. runs to France. Apparently. They Actually, to no. France. Death gets in a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he took so long. Also, who just That's why it took six months. I kind of want to like, it would be way too hard with all the rotoscoping and stuff, but I would love to just grim, green screen like an actual Grim Reaper, like holding things and moving them around. <laughs> so you actually see what he's doing. Uh, anyway, uh, so they find out something's happening. The, the Bob Denver song is playing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, a, bus, okay. a bus almost kills them, crashes into a sign. The and Claire, sign... Claire saw the vision of the bus. Did she? Yeah. yeah. Clear. Oh. yeah she was just like, ah! And he's like, yeah. what? Oh. So the sign comes down and misses them. And he's like, well, Carter it's, saves Alex. Yeah, Carter saves him. He like, wasn't a dick. Yeah. Even though Alex, not Alex, Carter was like, I'm the safest fucker on the planet. Yeah. You're next. And then he goes, who's next after you? And then the sign swings back. Now the sign said Miro... Eight, Miro 81. 81. But then when it swings back, it says 180, like oh. their flight. And actually, I forgot to mention, this was almost called Flight 180, but there were too mm. many movies like Con Air and then another one mm. about a plane. They're like, nah, it's going to confuse. Make a final destination. I'm glad I didn't mention oh, that before 9-11. I also forgot that there was a song playing in the middle of the film oh, that the just final has destination. Final yeah. Destination. Yeah, yeah. The part where Carter is like the final yeah. destination. So that was a very, very exciting conclusion. Oh, weren't you gonna say something too about um, uh, something? Was it Sean William Scott getting hit? <gasps> oh yes. I'm oh, sorry. I forgot. I forgot to mention this. Uh, so in the car, he gets elbowed in the face and he's bleeding out. I was reading. Apparently, 
he had like a sore on his lip when they were shooting. And they were like, how are we going to film around that? So they added the scene of oh. him being elbowed so the makeup people could put oh blood God. on his lip to Hollywood, cover it up. for once you were a genius. <laughs> uh, it's not quite uh, Mark Hamill in Empire Strikes Back. It's like, oh, man, your face is fucked. We're going to have you get hit by a snowman to cover it up. Um, but yeah, Final Destination. Again, from an unmade X-Files episode to a long-running franchise. There are five of these movies. Huh. Three out of the five of them are really, really good. Two is really, really good. Two is awesome. You're going to want to watch two. I'll react to it on my channel. Yeah, two is great. Three's weak. Three it has your woman in it. It does have the most beautiful woman ever in it, but that doesn't Ew. mean it's a good movie. Mary Elizabeth Winston. Um, oh. Dick Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor, you dick. She finally divorces that guy after like how many years? And then Ewan McGregor's... <clears throat> it's Ewan McGregor. Look, like, I like Ewan McGregor. I was hoping we would bump into each other at an airport. And then sit next to each other I mean, on a plane. After Final Destination, I don't, I don't Yeah, and then forward. the plane would blow. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll be how it happens. <laughs> you finally like, get her. She's like, oh my God, Tony Frank moves. I've always wanted to meet you. Do you want to get married? And I'd be like, yes. And then. It's boom. And then, and then, and then, like, and then I look out the window and it's you guys on the runway doing the tortilla challenge. <laughs> <laughs> The tortilla goes on the window of the plane, and the pilot's like, ah! Anyway, um, that's how it would happen. Why did my tortilla go that far? Yeah, nice forearm, thrill. Anyway. Um, <laughs> this is a tortilla challenge. I know I did it, and almost people. killed You put, people. like, water or something in your mouth, and you slap people, and yeah, you try to and they not spit it out. out then, yeah. Oh, Jess, you know what it is? It's fucking stupid. Anyway. TikTok, stop. Three, I don't know. I like that stop, video of Kevin Stop Hurt brainwashing and, uh, my rock. parents. Three's opening kill sucks. It's way too digital with the uh, roller coaster. Yeah. And also they filmed alternate versions of all the deaths. The only good one in that is the the tanning booth death. Mm. That one's good. Four is the 3D one. It sucks. There's really nothing memorable in it. Uh, but five is incredible. Yeah, it's really, really good. Five is really, really good. Should we spoil it? Sure. Five is a secret prequel. Five is a oh. prequel. Um, and I didn't know it the entire movie. It, like, it caught on toward the end. I'm like, no one has smartphones. No one has this. And I only bring it up because literally, spoilers for five. Stop watching now if you don't want it spoilers. Um, <laughs> fucking, uh, the characters get on a plane to go to France. Oh. And then they hear this commotion, they look over, and then the first movie is playing. Oh my god! So the survivors blow up on the plane, but there's one guy who's not on the plane. He's all the way across town, I think in like a bar or something. And then like, what? it's one of the engines or the wheel from the plane that blows up yep. goes all the way across town and crashes into him. Like it's Donnie Darko or yeah. some shit. And it's just him. Look, I said I was going to react to all of them and I will. I'll just fake it when I watch it. I'll just five like, oh five had God. a lot of fun with like the comedy and stuff. And the bridge, the opening bridge death is really yeah. good. That's uh, but yeah, I think, again, even the bad ones, you're going to have good, a yeah, good time watching yeah. them. Uh, Tony Todd kind of disappears after the second one. He's a voice in the third one. Yeah, he's the devil on the... the yeah, there's he have like, like a more prominent role later on no he, he, well, just, he just, does he just come back and he's like no. hey in the second I told one these other fuckers stuff pretty much dad. in the second one he shows up again gives him like a details the third one there's like a grim reaper or a devil on the roller coaster the he's the voice of it and i don't know if he's in the other ones i'd have to he watch is. again he is he's I'm pretty yeah he's definitely in five he comes back as himself yeah, in five i don't i don't remember four i don't think he was in four at all uh but yeah uh i'd like them to do more they haven't done one in a while because they were supposed to do a final, final destination. Well, yeah, they called the and then they did it. They called the fourth one the final destination, and then they did final destination five. Because uh, they realized that they fucked up on four. Four's bad. It's it's the Friday the Thirteenth. They there's two Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth, the final chapter. Friday the Thirteenth, the final Friday. Neither of them were the final ones. Uh, but yes, and I hope they never will. Yes, check out Final Destination. It's really good, or revisit it if you haven't seen it in a while. Like I said, there's plenty of foreshadowing. There's mm. plenty of little Easter eggs you can look for. If you're a big X Files fan and you have not watched this movie for some reason, definitely it. check it out. Uh, <laughs> the director, <laughs> the director went on to direct other movies. Mm. And we did the fourth one. He did the one starring Jet Li, which my friend Adam actually reviewed on his channel recently, mm. and I believe he directed Dragon Ball Evolution. Cool. And then Glenn Morgan, who stopped doing X-Files episodes a long time ago, he came back for the X-Files revival seasons, and he wrote the only two good episodes in those seasons. 
So that's it from us. Uh, <laughs> please like, share, and subscribe. Call our voicemail line. Join our mailing list, even though I keep forgetting to do it. I will do it. Someone hold me accountable. Can you remind me on Tuesdays to put out the mailing list? Well, Tuesday's passed, so uh, <laughs> put it out now. Next week, remind me. Hey, hey, Tony. I'll it's forget. Tuesday. Put out the mailing list. I know. I'll, I know I'll forget. Uh, Can but yeah, check that out. It? Huh? Can you schedule it? To I gotta like. I gotta wait for every single version to be live oh, and then post the link. Right. Maybe so just put up a sign in front of your door and be like, "Remember, yeah. check that out. Check out Patreon. We started doing uh, Patreon live streams. I did one recently where I uh, I did an edit stream. People really enjoyed the edit stream. Ah, huh. uh, I wasn't editing. No, I was I was editing. I mean, yeah. you are now editing the episode, but yeah. I started the episode. Uh, so I might do that because it's fun to like give people like a heads up. Uh, it was for the underrated Batman episode, uh. and <laughs> fucking. Uh, the the people watching really enjoyed me stopping the episode to go to Crystal and be like, "You got something in your teeth? Get that out." Okay. Uh, that's not in the episode, but that was on the live stream, which is archived at patreoncom Uh We got plenty of commentary tracks up there. We're doing a lot of content there. Cool, Joanna. Do you have anything that's safe to talk about on YouTube? <laughs> um, I'm actually starting. Uh Twitch stuff very soon. Um, or maybe it's even out by the time this yeah, is Yeah, it might, might be. Um, I just literally need to set up a wire and I'm pretty much good to go. Uh, so if you want to go to stuff like games on mm. Twitch. Games, not hearts. Games. The other one is stuff like hearts. Yeah. And if I were to go to websites that have the word fans in their title. That's stuff like hearts. And I were to copy paste that, I assume I'd find nothing because you're a good Catholic girl. Uh, Jess, where can we find you? Do you have a TikTok? Ew, no. Well, no, actually, I do. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah, you do. It's yeah. almost as if you were filming something for your TikTok that was going to be linked to this episode, right? No, it wasn't for my TikTok. It was oh. for my YouTube. Oh, never mind. Even better. Even I'm better. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> I used to do reaction videos all the time to anime, but now I'm doing them to movies. You I'm, should still do anime also. I, I will. I will. But I'll hopefully be putting out around this time the Final Destination reaction. Good, you better. Yeah, I think if I wore, you were smart, I think I wore would... this exact shirt and hat. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, that Green Day, they were big in the 90s. Yeah, but no, check me out. Just, Green Day, just... Oakland, California. Why Oakland? I don't know. I got this at Forever 21. <laughs> so no, Forever whatever. 21 is not right. It's I hate Green Day. But no, check me out. Uh, just Daydreaming. Yes, all, Just Daydreaming. I forget if it's all one word or two. Put it, oh put my it God, here. Jess. You fucking, this is your moment. You didn't plan for the. Well, I'm editing this. Put it here. Wow, there it is. I have it like sparkly. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it amazing. Now, I'm gonna put the, the Five Nights at Freddy's. Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna put confetti. There's gonna be now. kids cheering. It's best. Now, you guys, you you avoided death, but I'm gonna help death out. Okay. I'm gonna. Ready? Ready? Whatever can get me now, out of that closet. Now, because of uh, <laughs> because I love how uh, death in these movies uses crazy coincidences that would never happen, and people just believe that they're normal deaths. I figured out the best way to kill you two. Mm. Best Jess way. and Johanna have information that will lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton. Send. Your days are numbered. Fuck. Your days are numbered. I'm going to find out you guys shot yourself in the back of the head or something. <laughs> or fell down the stairs three times. They fell down the stairs three times. <laughs> and that's it. Everyone uh, put an F. Put an F in the chat for <laughs> Jess and Johanna. Goodbye. <laughs> We are waiting for the dark souls of fighting games. Let us have it. We're ready. <laughs> Soul Edge has nothing on a lightsaber. Like, I'm sorry. James Earl Jones comes back. No. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I don't think kids trade games yeah. anymore. I need that sense of accomplishment, and it wasn't there. And I think that that was a major flaw. The way they engineer these is just phenomenal. As much as you're into, like, the comics, I was very into the toys, so I was on, like, the message board all yeah. the time. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.